Well, in a way, you could almost say that Toriko is almost too cocky for his own good. Every single time. Then again, things have just started. And it's quite good, the fact that after a while, what it looked like Wolf Guinness was going to be a weak one. It turned out that Wolf Guinness, <laughs> the 8th king in the Toriko chapter 354, is more than just a badass. Either way, the Neo creature attacks... Uh, what sign is this? Is it F? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Either way, the Neo part attacks Toriko and Staryun. Their appetite demons actually increases... Um, no, they actually show themselves even before the two uh, gourmets can do that. And fire a combined technique that send the part flying, however, with its, its stay down with its tentacle. Go and both to Toriko is startled that uh, although the appetite demon have shown himself before, this is one of the few times it's shown itself and attacked so fast. Meaning probably that it could sense just how terrifying the gourmet demon king uh, Neo is. The it's Neo. I'm a bit surprised that it attacked. I thought we will we welcome it. Then again, the motives of the appetite demons are still for me shrouded in mystery. But oh, alas, the, the neo demon is having his tentacles on ground and managed to prevent itself from being blown up into space. But as soon as it's land, Guinness throws it a mean look. And what happens? Well, it either it dies or all of its life energy gets sucked out of it. It turns it completely pale and just falls down. And the only thing Guinness did was look at it! Did you understand? And then... He decides to stomp Neo, and he creates, creates such a fissure that, well, um, let's just say, <laughs> Her Hercules had nothing on this kind of fissure. Well, maybe he had, but still, he <laughs> literally morphed after Earth. Well, he didn't, but almost. And it creates such an explosion that, of course, Toriko and Staryun needs to uh, put down their, well, roots. I mean, Toriko's his knife and uh, fork, while uh, Staryun, I think he's doing some kind of flames to prevent himself from being blown away. Of course, given that this is Toriko logic, even though they still get a bit blown away, they blown away a uh, hundred of kilometers away. I mean, this is historical logic, and historical logic, in order to escalate just how bad as something is, they do. The numbers are off the charts. So, yeah. Uh, so, Starion is flabbergasted not only at that power, but of, also, of course, at the fact that why would the Eight King personally attack? And he's just showing with his gourmet eye, the one that he saw the first time they fought. Uh, the, and apparently his demon eye, gourmet clarivance, is something that nails his sits, aims 100. But then the battle wolf has already caught up, but not before marking its territory. <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> well, it is a dog. Uh, more, more like a wolf, but you get my picture. A canine, maybe it's seen. But as soon as they try to fight, once again, the great and feared Guinness just look at them. Or maybe this time he actually sniffs at them. And the thing is, as soon as they does that, both Starjun and Toriko completely lose their energy. Maybe I was misinterpreted. Maybe Guinness did not look at the creature, but merely sniffed it. What? Did he... Did he absorb... Did he... How do you say this? Did he breathe in their life energy? Who knows? I mean, Guinness is a terrifying creature, not only with because it's an eight king, its power, but if you look at it, all the battle wolves yet have never looked like Guinness. And Guinness, I mean, Guinness actually looks ugly compared to, a, to the prideful battle wolf clan. So maybe it's a creature that can suck off life energy in order to prevent 
in order to make it live. Either way, so much for that round. Three times now, Toriko. Three times. First time, you couldn't help it. Second time, you were completely outmatched. And third time, well... This chapter just set, sums it up, right? And a bit, I'm glad, because I was afraid he was gonna worth the the 18 Guinness too fast. But then again, this is Toriko, so I do not like this pair, so I would actually appreciate if both Starion and Toriko do not die. I mean, they're the main characters, they're not gonna die, but if they somehow bounce back and at least earn the 18's respect, they don't have to defeat him, just get the respect. But either way, an insane chapter to start the insane year. And it was badass to see the 8 King Guinness just he didn't even have to move. <laughs> that is precisely how an 8 King needs to be. So give me your thoughts if you have any.